visitors are free to roam most of the archipelago's beaches at will, but access to some is severely restricted. The idea is to protect the island's fragile ecosystem while also educating the tourists. The beach they will discover after a two-hour wait is only accessible in groups of 25 and for no more than 30 minutes. We're waiting for Atalaya Beach to open. What do you know about this beach? Nothing at all, actually, just its reputation, what we've read in magazines and what people have told us. Atalaya Beach is only open at low tide, when the sea reveals a huge natural pool protected by a barrier reef. You have to understand, this is a natural pool. There's nothing man-made about it. In this pool, you can find corals, sponges, algae, moray eels, ornamental fish, small fish near the coral reef. You see them in shoals. They're small. The biggest are no more than 30 centimeters. The good thing about Atalaya Beach is even if you have never dived or you don't know how to swim, you can safely observe the abundant and friendly marine life in 60 centimeters of water. of tourists are watched constantly by rangers, such as Pedro, who found employment with the archipelago's National Marine Park on his return from Europe. The good thing about this pool here on the Atalaya beach is that it's shallow. It's easy to guard. If too many people came at once, they'd destroy everything the fish eggs, the babies, and that would endanger the ecosystem. That's why there is always a park ranger, to inform people and teach them about the environment. In five minutes, the second group will arrive, and the first will have to leave. The dolphins usually enter the bay from that side. They occasionally go the other way, but they usually come that way. When they enter the bay, they split into different groups. The mating group is easy to spot, because you can see the male courting the female. 
The male has a white belly. It's the most agitated group. The guard dolphins leap out of the water, so keeping the entire pack alert. Every morning at 6 a.m. at the viewing platform on Dolphin Bay, groups of 30 visitors listen to a guide so as to better understand the riveting spectacle before them. This place is quite unique. After a night hunting at sea, the spinner or long-snouted dolphins return here to rest and mate. This bay is one of the places with the most dolphins in the world. It is constantly guarded by rangers. Absolutely no one is allowed to enter it. A single road crosses the island from north to south. To get about, there are only tracks accessible by buggies or paths, which lead to other pristine beaches, other dramatic settings for other riveting spectacles, such as Lion Beach, the Turtles Beach. Every night from December to July, the Hawksbill Turtle and the Green Turtle, two endangered species, come here to lay their eggs on the sand. It takes 50 days for the sea turtle hatchlings to emerge from their nests. During this time, the nests are observed daily by the island's biologists. Pablo is a biologist. This is his third year in the archipelago. He dives every day to observe the behavior of the young turtles and to evaluate their growth and development. sanctuary reserved for scientists, tourists are only admitted on certain conditions. They must have a guide and wear a life jacket, so as not to disturb the animals in their natural element. For Pablo, studying the turtles is also a unique opportunity to learn from this animal. Its will to survive the centuries in the face of its many predators, such as man and sharks, is an example for life. Turtles can teach us a lot. They humanize people a bit. We're so stressed about time, our schedules, the mad daily rush, especially in the big cities. They are here to show us another dynamic exists. There are other, more important battles and struggles. We all have to fight for life, despite our own problems. This is what turtles teach us. Patience, serenity and perseverance.